Hi and welcome back, my name is Sam and here we're going to do a new tutorial. So what I'm going to be showing you is how to change your camera location so you can have different camera views. And what I'm going to be doing is showing you the quite popular one that I've seen from using games like GTA where you can have the first person character view of your third person character. So if I show you what I mean. Okay, so here is my third person character. As you can see, I can rotate about him as you would in any game and he moves when I go like that. So then when I press my button, I am now in the third person of the character, if you don't believe me, I can look down, there's his feet. Now you look up, that's his head. Okay, this is a simple one, so you can still look around like that. If you wanted, you could probably set the rotation of the camera to move the body as well. And when you jump, his arms move into the air. So to show you what this looks like, I'm going to open up my third person character blueprint. And I'm going to show you the viewport first. So this is my character. As you can see, this is the normal follow camera. It's on this camera boom, which is quite important to keep. And when we move the camera, we're actually moving it to these coordinates. If you're on your own character, this would work differently. So maybe you wanted the camera actually a little bit further back, like I particularly would. I'd probably rather have it back about there, maybe even slightly further. So you'd work your animations around that. So if I just set this back to normal, zero, zero. If you wanted, you could probably parent this to the mesh so that when you jumped, the camera should move up with it. So in first person mode, the camera also moves up. I'm going to create a new project, third person. And I'm going to name this third person tutorials. And I'm going to create the project. Okay, so here we are in our third person tutorial blueprint. So I'm going to go to my third person blueprints folder, my blueprint, and then the third person character. Now if we just ignore all this, this isn't anything we need to deal with ourselves. Uh, if I show you the blueprints of the actual thing, this is it, it's actually quite simple. This is very important to note though, it's set relative location. I'll explain more than that in a moment. So, as this is the same character as the last one, the coordinates I mentioned before can be used. If you're using a custom character, then you'll want to actually change it yourself because your custom character might have a different size. Okay, if I just bring the event graph back. So I'm going to right click here to bring up this menu and I'm going to do middle mouse button. That's what I've got it set to. And as you can see here, we want it to be done on release because if you're holding the button, you don't really want to be swapping. So we want to do it on release. So then we want to branch because we want to check if the person's already in first person or third person. So I'm going to add a new variable and I'm going to call this first person. Okay, and as you can see, it's automatically created a boolean. If you have had the blueprint open before starting this tutorial, and you've already created a variable, then it will automatically go to the one you last created. For example, if you create an integer, it'd go to an integer. So you just need to go to this variable type menu here and select boolean. Okay, and we're going to compile that, and as you can see, its default value is set to false because this is t not ticked. That's what we want, because we want to start the game in third person. So I want to get this. And that's our condition. So if you want to have the game just start in the perspective the player wanted, you would probably just have that in the settings menu or just have it saved to a file so when they loaded it's automatically set. Now what we want to do is we want to click follow camera and then right click here. And this gets the context of the follow camera as you can see, uh, call function on follow camera. So this just means we're not searching through endless results that will have nothing to do with the camera. So what we want is we want set relative location follow camera. Now this is quite important, okay, as I said before it's important to note because what it's doing is it's setting the location of the camera relevant to this camera boom which is also relevant to the rest of this capsule component. If you just set its location then it, you would set its location in the world. So for example if you set it to 000, zero, zero it would spawn in the middle of the map there and it wouldn't. So you need to make sure it's relative location. And as the values I gave before, 325 in the X and 16 Z. We don't want to sweep because it will probably detect the collision of the capsule component and not move it. So we don't want to do that. Control C and Control V. And when it's true, I want to set it back to zero. Zero. And again, we don't want to sweep. So then I want to drag in this boolean. And we want to set it. And from false, we want to set it to true so they're now in first person. 
copy and paste it and then when we send it back to third person we want to set it to false ok I'm going to press C to bring up a comment and I'm just going to stretch it out and I'm going to name it camera swap ok so let's test it out so now I press the middle mouse button and we're following our character. Ok so that's how you create that very simply. As I say this is used by games like GTA and that and usually the animations from the first person are not different to the third person. You just kind of have to refine the third person animations to get them looking a bit better. And then as I said click and hold the camera boom and do it onto the mesh and this means that when we jump the camera moves with us. So that's a very simple way to create a third person to first person camera swap. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, if you didn't leave a dislike, if your opinions are otherwise or you have any questions or advice, just leave a comment down below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, bye.